Hey there guys, this is Phone Tech Kid, and today I'm going to be talking about kernels, and I'm going to be showing you how to flash one on your Galaxy S4. So guys, let's get started. Okay guys, so if you don't know what a kernel is, I'm going to give you kind of a quick summary right now. So, uh, the definition I'm going to give you right now, or at least the review is kind of more for computers but it does go a lot with Android devices too. So in computing the kernel is the main component of most computer operating systems. It's basically a bridge between applications and the actual data processing done at the hardware level. The kernel's responsibilities include managing the system's resources and that's communication between the hardware and the software components. So, yeah, that's just a quick definition of what a kernel is. Uh, to kind of dumb it down for you, basically what you can do with custom kernels, which I'll be showing you how to install. Of course, you do need to be rooted, and you need to have a recovery installed. What you can do with custom kernels is you can do this thing called overclocking, underclocking, and some other stuff. I'm going to focus more on overclocking and underclocking. Basically what overclocking and underclocking does, let's say you want to get better battery life. Well, after you've installed a custom kernel, which I'll show you how to do in a little, then you'll be able to underclock and you'll get better battery life. Your processor won't have to work as much since you put its maximum level lower and you'll be getting better battery life or let's say you wanna make your phone faster You're, you think oh my phone's slow I don't like how it's going I want it to speed up a little bit well then you could overclock the maximum and then your phone will perform faster so this works on phones and tablets the specific kernel I'm gonna be flashing and showing you how to use today is for the Galaxy S4 and it works for the S3, but that's a different thing. This is mainly for the S4 right now. And so, let's get started. So, an app you want to install, which I've talked about before, is x Premium. You could find that in the Play Store. There's a free version. You could get the free or paid version, and you do need to create an account. Okay? So, we're going to open up x Premium. So, this works for all the U.S. Galaxy S4s. So AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, and T-Mobile. So all of them. So what we're going to do, since I have AT&T, you want to go into your different... So let's go to forums. This is what you're going to do. And you're going to scroll all the way down until you get to the Galaxy S4s and you find yours. So there's the AT&T one. Whichever carrier you're on, you want to go to the original Android development. And so here's the one that we're going to be flashing today. The kernel right here, as you can see. Uh, so you do have to have custom recovery and be rooted, as I said before, otherwise you're not going to be able to do this. So, since I'm running an AOKP right now, I'm going to install the AOSP version. But basically, if you're running TouchWiz, there's also a TouchWiz version for you. So, it doesn't matter which one, uh, depending on what ROM you're on. Since I'm on the AOSP ROM right now, I'm going to click the AOSP Jelly Bean 4.2.2 version. We're going to click install and through browser just once. Prepare download. You're just going to want to download this. I suggest downloading it from your phone as it is easier. Okay, so it started the download. Before you flash your kernel, right carrier, make sure right it is the right carrier and do some research. You could click those buttons up here and see what people are leaving so we can see oh it's running great uh, latest build for AOSP running good not sure about battery yet read through here because there might be a problem and then you won't know what to do okay so my download finished so now we're gonna boot up into recovery so I'm gonna hold the power button or actually uh, yeah I'll, I'll do it manually right now so we're gonna hold the power button and power off our device. Click OK. So once you've installed a kernel, you can always get rid of it. And the only thing you have to do to get rid of it is you just have to dirty flash. And what that is is 
just reflash the ROM you were on in gaps if you need to by wiping just cache and dial the cache. So now we're going to hold volume rocker up, home button, and power button. Okay, so just hold it. And once you see the blue words pop up, let go of the home or power button. So there we let go of the power button and it should boot up into recovery. So let it sit. So as I said, only now you're holding the volume rocker and the home button. So there you go. Uh, does not matter what recovery you're in. This is just the specific one I'm in right now. So what you want to do first is you just want to go down to install zip from SD card right there and then we're going to go to choose zip from SD card at the very top as I said my recovery is different so don't worry about that and we're going to go down to downloads right there as you can see I highlighted download I'm going to swipe now we are going to go to there it is so KT SGS4 ALSP so make sure whatever you're installing you can see it's AOSP. This is the TouchWiz one. Looks like this TW. Here's the AOSP one. JBATT. Make sure it's the right carrier and the latest version of the kernel. So we're going to swipe and click Yes Install. So this should take a couple of seconds, as I said. They're already finished. So now what you want to do is you want to go back. Oops. And we're going to go to Wipe Cache Partition yes wipe cache and then you're gonna wipe down the cache so don't worry it's not gonna wipe anything on your phone that's just to make sure that the kernel is safely on your device so now go to advanced and wipe down the cache yes and last but not least go to fix permissions right there same advanced menu and swipe to fix permissions that might take a little bit longer there you go so it just finished now we're gonna go back and we're gonna reboot now okay so I'll be back when it is done rebooting and I'll show you guys the okay guys so my phone just finished rebooting and if you now go look in your app drawer you're gonna see an app called key tweaker right there you're just going to open that up. So it's going to say all this stuff. Just click yes. And just click remember choice forever and allow. And then yes. So the first thing you want to do is we're going to go to general. Enable OC steps. And now you can overclock. So as you can see right now, I'm at 1890. You can go all the way to 2322. I don't suggest going that high, guys. But he makes it really easy, as you can see. You could either overclock it to 1998, and your phone will be faster. Maybe not as good battery life, though. Or, we were on 1870, we can move it down to 1782. And that could give you some better battery life. And you shouldn't see a difference in performance, since you're not moving it down too much. Here you can also change the governors. So, uh, the one that I suggest, if it's here, is On Demand. There it is. You can change it to On Demand. You could play with these settings. The worst thing that could go wrong is that apps will start crashing. And you could just go back into this app and underclog. Or go and, as I said, dirty flash back your ROM to get back the stock kernel. I mean, there's nothing that, as long as you follow my steps correctly, nothing is going to go wrong. And... I guarantee you guys, okay? You can play around with the IO scheduler just to test around what's working the best for you. I heard Zen works good. But basically that's it. Minimum, uh, I don't think you should really touch that unless you want it to be really fast. You can move it up to like 1 or 900 or something like that, which will give you faster speeds too. But I suggest this to be the perfect way, just 378, 1782, and on-demand governor. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, leave some comments below if you want to see more videos like this, where I kind of explain more 
techie stuff. And, um, yeah, guys, make sure to hit the like button and check out my website, www.phonetechkid.com. And thanks for watching.